Okay, so the first step to the tamales is, or the pork tamales, is to put your pork roast in your crock pot and just set it to whatever timing, whatever setting you need. Um, I'd like this to be done quickly, so I put it on four hours, but usually I try to do it overnight for like eight to ten hours. Um, so you put your pork roast in, you add a can of red chili sauce. I'll show you that in a second. And then I just put like some garlic salt, pepper, seasoned salt in there, and then let it go. This is the brand of the red chili sauce that I use. Um, it's what my dad always used, so it's just what I've always used. Um, and I also use their enchilada sauces as well. But I just poured this whole can in there with the roast, which is I think four and a half pounds or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's just gonna cook for the next few hours and then I'll show you what to do next. Right, this has been cooking for about four and a half hours. It's starting to come apart. I just flipped it over a minute ago. Um, I'm gonna just give it maybe another hour um, and see if I can just shred that up. All right, me and Yasmin are over here baking some treats for Thanksgiving. We're doing magic cookie bars, but we do ours a little bit differently. I apologize for being out of breath as usual. Okay, so we make ours. We get the crumbs, melt the butter, basically follow these directions, except instead of peanut butter and chocolate, we do butterscotch chips and chocolate because that's why my mom has always made them and they are amazing. <coughs> Excuse me. And we don't put any nuts on it and we don't do the flaked coconut in it, which my mom usually does, but we don't because some of us here in the household do not care for it. So we basically just do um, the graham cracker crust, the chips, and then the sweetened condensed milk, and then we bake that. They're so like irresistible and addicting. All right, Yazzie mm -hmm. is mixing up the crumbs, not bread crumbs, ew. That would be gross. The graham cracker crumbs. Well, on her, what's that called? Pregnancy brain. Hoverboard. Hoverboard. All right, come on, mix, girl. Let's go. We got lots to do still. So. Don't worry, it's clean. I cleaned it. Okay, so Yasmin has the crumbs all packed down. You want to pack it down nice and flat. Um, I'm going to pour some of this on top. Add these chips and then pour the remainder of this on top of that. I hope we're Kai here. I'm gonna do some okay, hold on. You can do a little bit and you can do a little bit. Just half. I'm gonna move it out so you can get it off. That's good. Oh, so no, don't drop them. Still found it right after. I need to know so many moments. I keep dropping them. Okay, there we go. It is all set. We're gonna throw it in the oven for at 350 for 25 minutes. Okay, now we're making the masa for the tamales. I just used some cornmeal here. And I looked up a recipe online and kind of made it my own, which is usually what I do when I'm cooking anyway. Um, so now Yazi is just helping to fold all the ingredients together. <coughs> and I can put down below what we use to make the masa so that you have that in case you want to try and make it. Okay, so this is the pork roast. I took it out of the crock pot and now I'm just gonna work on um, Shredding it up. All these things, I think I found them at Target, if not Walmart. I'll try and link them below. 
but it came with three of these little um, disposable counter or table covers. Um, so I just have like one of these cheapy tablecloths on our table and then we're sticking these paper things on and they're cool because they have little sticky parts that will help it stay down to the table and then we'll um, make our tamales on here. So this will kind of help reduce the mess cleanup. This is the meat. And I put some of the red chili sauce in there. I'm going to mix that up and then we'll be all set. And I got a pack of corn husks. Um, Walmart usually has them. Sometimes um, Kroger or your near, nearby grocery store will, but sometimes they don't. Um, so I soak them in water to get them soft so that we can fold the tamales into them. This is the masa all ready to go. And this is the meat. I'm going to add more of this red chili sauce to it so it's a little more red. Okay, so how you make them is you get the corn husk. And you want to be spreading your masa on the smooth side, not the bumpy side. So you get your spoon and you spread out a little layer. And then you throw in some meat and olives and I'll show you that in just a second. You got Yazzie. Hi, mm -hmm. helping me. This is our setup, and then we also put olives inside of ours. And these are pork again. Um, I hate chicken. You can make all different kinds. Okay, so here we go. I put some meat and some olives in. So people don't care for olives. We like a ton of olives in ours. Um, and you can be more shysty and just put a little bit of meat. You can put lots of meat. It's up to you and how you want to make yours. But this is about an average one for us. And then you take. You're gonna have some extra on some of these extra corn husks. So you take the side that's all the way over with masa, fold it, and then just keep rolling it onto the rest of the masa. There you go. And you just fold the end, and there it is. Some people make them different and they like tie the end, but I don't know, this is how we always make them. We sit them up in a pot like this when we cook them, and then that's it. Here's my pot where I have my tamales. And they're in there. Steaming away. It's going to about an hour, an hour and a half of steaming. Okay, so these are the rest of the tamales that we made. I just put them in a Ziploc bag and stick them in the freezer and then thaw them out when we're ready to cook them for Christmas. So this is the final product. This is how the tamales turned out. They are so delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know if you make tamales down below and how they come out. See you guys in my next video. Bye.